Apple's next big update for iOS is coming later this fall, but if you're daring, you can try a super early version of it right now. The iOS 10 public beta is available to anyone who wants to try it, and I wouldn't recommend installing it on your phone, but if you do, you can get a good taste of what's to come. There's a ton of new things in iOS 10, but here are some quick highlights of what to expect. And the first and biggest change is gonna be to your lock screen. With iOS 10, your lock screen is pretty much your new home screen. Pull the phone out of your pocket and it automatically turns on. The first thing you're gonna notice is that swipe down lock is gone. In order to unlock it, you have to push the button to enter your passcode or use Touch ID. But if you do swipe, you get to see a whole new pane of widgets, which can show you things like weather, and stocks, and calendar, and music controls, and all these other things without having to unlock your phone. Swipe the other direction and you unlaunch the camera. But if you stay in the middle, you'll get all your notifications, which now have more information and 3D touch features and a lot more useful things than they used to have. When you do unlock your phone, you'll see that the notification center has been totally redesigned. Notifications are bigger with more information. There's now a 3D touch feature to clear all of your notifications at once, which is awesome. And then there's also built-in spotlight search. So it works in any app that you're already in. If you're in a messenger app and you're in a conversation, you can swipe down from the top and search for a movie without ever leaving your app. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen, you've got a new control center, which has 3D touch features, so you can set specific brightnesses of the flashlight or specific times on the timer. It's got a new two-pane control system, so swiping over to the right gives you your music controls, while all your system controls are on the other side. And on your home screen, you can finally remove those default apps, so you can say goodbye to stocks, goodbye to find my friends, and goodbye to all those other apps that you're not using anymore. Now technically, it doesn't really remove them, it just hides them, but you don't really have to worry about them anymore, which is awesome. For the apps that you do want to use, you will see some new redesigns. Music has been redesigned, Apple News has been redesigned, and there's also a new app called Home for controlling HomeKit stuff, if you happen to have those Apple's smart home stuff in your house. And the last big thing in iOS 10 is a brand new Messages app. Messages has been expanded with lots of new functions that make it way more competitive with things like Snapchat and WhatsApp and all these other messaging platforms everyone uses. There's big emoji, there's 3D touch features, there's digital touch features, there's drawing, there's different effects when you send messages. And in the future, when iOS 10 launches to the public, you'll be able to integrate third-party apps right into the messaging app. So you can call up a cab or book a restaurant or buy movie tickets without ever leaving a messaging conversation. If you do want to install the iOS 10 beta on your phone, just go to beta.apple.com on your device. You can enroll right there and download it right away. A fair warning, we've seen quite a few bugs with this. It's certainly not stable. You're probably gonna have bad battery life and a bunch of other issues come up while you're using it. But if you're daring and you're willing to accept those things, you can get a taste of what's to come right now. There's gonna be a number of other betas released before the final launch this fall. And of course, we'll have more information on theverge.com and youtube.com slash theverge.